And so there is a, a, a moderator, and those that are for the project and those that are against the project, they discuss everything. Finally, a decision is, is rendered. Ultimately, there's another uh, entity group above the, the tribal water right uh, department of three individuals, one appointed by the governor, one appointed by the tribe, and one non, uh, one, one other professional appointed person who will also make a judgment if there's conflicts going on, and if uh, the parties do not like the outcome of that, it can go on to the Montana Water Court where it will be decided there. Um, so the point is, the responsibility of this department on, on the reservation is to monitor uh, water use on the reservation. They're supposed to look at any projects that are going on. They'll really know what's happening. They'll be made to know what's happening with the water on the reservation. In addition to that, you will have three years to adopt a water code. So uh, a water code, and we'll have another slide on that, but um, there will be three years to get a water code going. And the other problem with voting yes is I think you're going to lose out on groundwater, which is a huge resource on the reservation. If you vote no, then you go back to square one. But it seems to me that if you have to create a water code, you have to create a department to assess your water resources and manage your water on your reservation, why not vote no and do it on your own terms instead of being forced to take the terms that are being handed down to you. Next, please. So, at the end of the document, there's this final settlement thing. The final settlement says that if you vote yes on this thing, it is binding on all parties. It is binding to the state. It's binding to the tribe. It's binding to the federal government. It's a done deal. There's no going back. Once you say yes and you all agree and you sign off on it, okay, you have to go ahead. I have one other comment down here that I thought would, would be important culturally to you, is once you say yes, there will be a number of state agency folks that will be wandering around the reservation to check on the water. Uh, you, you've been able to have quite a bit of privacy, uh, but I'm thinking that they'll have every reason to wander around because they're going to need to be checking on the water. And that may or may not be a big deal to you, but I thought I would bring it up. In my opinion, you need some scientific studies conducted to define your resources. There is more than just surface water on the reservation. There is more than just irrigation as a beneficial use. What are your options? There are plenty. Um, these scientific studies could help you define the value of your water so that you know what sort of a rate structure, what you should charge uh, other users on the reservation. It would give you the opportunity to better protect and manage the water resources that you have, and it allows you to better negotiate your water rights. My uh, message to you is take charge of your future by being proactive, voting no, and starting over but doing it right. Next. So what should be in a water code? The water code should be developed in a way that you will manage and regulate and monitor all the tribal water rights. You will also be able to set up the conditions for use of tribal water rights on the reservation. Um, you will also establish any charges. This is a way to bring funds, right, uh, that can be used to, to help
to be offered for past wrongs and not keeping up with maintenance. And it seems to me that whether you vote yes or whether you vote no, there's still some negotiation that can be done here with the U.S. about uh, wrongs that have been, uh, they, they have admitted to the wrongs. You have a tremendous groundwater resource that is not being included in this whole documentation. And with the, with the Big Horn Mountains and the Prior Mountains and all of these uh, rock strata that are, that are prolific in many places, that's not really being included. And finally, if you have to create a department on, on the reservation, if you have to create a water code anyway, why don't you do it on your own terms? And I guess ultimately, the kind of question you have to ask is when your, your young ones, your grandchildren approach you later on and they say, why did you vote the way that you did when they had that big deal about the water? I hope that you will have done so in a prayerful, thoughtful way. And I, I hope that uh, my presentation was of some help. Thank you. Dr. Reed, would you stand for 10 minutes yeah. of questions? And then we'll, at the very end, we'll have more time to come back for questions. But uh, are there questions, questions of substance? I'd like to have you phrase uh, in terms of questions, please. Question? Question. I got a question. In the Montana Water Compact, uh, they gave a bunch of definitions but uh, I noticed that senior and junior were never never defined. It, uh, was there a purpose for that? Did, did they want to not let us know what uh, senior and junior meant? Okay, that's a really good question. Um, the way I would think of it is in terms of first in time, first in right. So let's say somebody has a 1943 water right, somebody has a 1973 water right. The person with the 1943 has a senior water right to the person in 1973. Does that help? Well, no. Uh, my question is, was it intentional on the part of the state to not let us know, pro Indians, what senior and junior actually means? Because it wasn't defined. A lot of other things were defined. And, and to me, I think that's, uh, 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 it would make a big difference to me because uh, if I'm junior and every, all the non-Indians on Pirate Creek uh, have already filed a claim, uh, I have a feeling I won't get any water because I mean, it's very limited as it is. You're, you're asking a really, really good question. And I would, uh, I guess I would like uh, Bill being more specific to the law to address that question when he has, has a chance to do his presentation. But I will uh, write that down if it doesn't come up so that uh, we make sure we get your question answered. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dr. Wade, I have a, uh, a written question. Okay, thank you. If the compact guarantees to the tribe and the lotees as much or more water than the normal flow of the river, how could a better compact get more? Okay. I think what we want to do Thank <laughs> you. 